I am on a 850GS Trophy. So, geez, this thing apparently gets some pretty good fuel economy. So, got road, dynamic, enduro, rain, start out in road, cruise control, heated grips. I've ridden a 1250 once. So, good. yep. Good. So, yeah. Let's see how this. Whoa. Move that windshield up. I have a feeling I'm going to want it up. Actually, not too bad to stand up on. <laughs> on a demo ride. Oops, wrong button. <laughs> Already hitting the wrong button. <laughs> yeah, not too bad so far. <clears throat> the windscreen is adjustable on the fly, which is kind of cool. Just this lever here. Turn signal's still on. So this is, I'm guessing 850cc. Like I guess I don't, I don't know much about these bikes. I was expecting to ride a 1250, not an 850. And I will say, somebody with a 26 inch inseam can't touch the ground. I met someone on this earlier and she was able to touch the ground. Now they do have these in the low height and the low seating position. The lady told us so. Be able to come out and just write a demo. You can you'll know that already. Oh man, that's kind of, that is I forgot how much fun that is. Having the um Pro Shift, I think that's what they call it. Yeah. I know I'm short shifting it a little bit. Yeah, fun. Not bad little bike. I mean, I definitely want to upgrade, do something a little different to see, maybe. I'm going to try the windshield out in a couple different positions. We'll see how the wind is. So far, I don't. I noticed maybe a, a little. A, might be a little buffering with it all the way up. Yeah, with this bike, it has a, a quick shifter. Essentially, I think they call it Pro Shift, if I remember correctly. Where as long as you don't have the, you're not in the throttle, you can downshift. And if you're in the throttle, you can upshift without pulling the clutch in. It's kind of nice. <laughs> I, I kind of want a bike with it, I'm not going to lie, especially if I go with an adventure bike. 
So yeah, definitely neat little bike. And the windshield down, just to try that out. Yeah, I get, it does seem like it's only two positions for that windshield. Yeah, it's only like two positions. All the way up or all the way down. So, try all the way down and see how that is. Yeah, the quick shifters are so nice. Yeah, like, I mean, it's got cruise control. I don't know. We'll see if we get to do it, try it out. Dude, they did say there's a couple long stretches of road on this ride. So, yeah, we'll see. Kind of give you guys a little better view of the bike, of the actual bike itself. I mean, not, I don't feel cramped up, which is what I was afraid of when I was looking online at these, some of these smaller ones. I mean, I would definitely leave it in a higher setting if I were to ever get one of these, but that's because I'm, I got a 32 inch inseam. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, I'm in first. Oh yeah, it does have a gear selector. Forgot all about that. We'll see if we get to get on it at all. Just, just depends on traffic, I know. These do have self-canceling turn signals, but you gotta, I guess, lean into it decently. That's what the guy was saying. At least. Oh, I bad little bike. I, I see why some people will go with this for an ADB off-road bike. So far. Having an adjustable windshield, is, especially being able to adjust it on the fly, is nice. Seems very flickable. Suspension's not too bad, I will admit. Engine does vibrate a little bit. I know saw with one guy he said these are apparently Chinese engines, which Yeah. Everybody has their own opinions about all that. So the way I see it, if it works, it works. <laughs> I don't think there's any known issues with these yet. But I didn't do any research on these bikes before coming here. I just you know, I just know I wanna try it out in dynamic mode see how that is i'm not gonna oh wow hey, hey. oh yeah that's got a lot more pep to it <laughs> yeah i know these rider modes bmw can get a little crazy with sometimes yeah i mean first impressions on this bike are they're not bad i i dig it Definitely a fun little bike so far. It'd be awesome if we'll be able to get to get on it at some point. So yeah, Annette is on a R18B right now. We'll get her thoughts on it a little bit later when we're done. Ooh, some pop and crackling they're coming out of this exhaust. I believe this does have a parallel twin engine in it. From what I could tell, that's what it looked like. I didn't get super great glances at the bike. Nice tw little twisty route they found. Woo. Okay. 
Okay, well, that was a little fun. Yeah, I think I'd want risers. Ended up being, end up wanting risers or something to push the bars out a little bit. I don't know. It's still a little close to me. This is fun. <laughs> that, that windshield goes worn. There's, I'm not even feeling any buffing on my head. Woo, boy. bike I will admit I god dang the only thing like my biggest complaint is this the engine is, is a little vibrating like it does have some vibration to it which people be like you're, you should, you're on a Harley you should be used to it yeah, no my Harley don't vibrate at, this vibrates more than my Harley does it feels like to me so I said it I don't care. I, I mean, because it's not like a bad vibration, it's just there. Like, it's not going to make, I don't feel like it's going to make my hands go numb or anything crazy like that, but. Yeah, I, I'm definitely liking this bike. Like I said, I'm not going to put it in enduro mode because that's off road mode pretty much. And in dynamic, this thing scoops. Very soft suspension. <laughs> Going through those bumps. But it felt good. Like these, re these bumps haven't felt that bad. So the suspension's pretty decent, I will say. I mean, it's a BMW. He, he, almost expect certain things like that. Think about trying out one of the baggers next. I'm not sure. But do I see myself possibly wanting this in the future? Arcade this as an option for my ADV bike in the future. It's up there. It's on that list. I almost almost like this better than the 1250. Almost. So, yeah, the 50G trophy. Definitely like this body. Yeah, it's got some decent features to it, and I don't, if I remember right, the pricing on these is not that bad. So, yeah, I'm not sure if you guys have any comments about it, but, um, oof. Okay, that was a little hard, but that was a big bump. That was a big dip I hit on purpose a little bit. I just wanted to see a hard bump. But, uh, yeah. Do you guys have any comments about this bike? I mean, or, you know, if I should even consider it. Let me, uh, just let us know. I said it's not a bad bike whatever, whatsoever. I, I like it. <laughs> oh man. Like I said, I definitely will be considering this as a po future possibility for a bike for me. So, yeah. The gauge is perfectly readable. I don't know how well it comes up on the screen because of, you know, cameras and all that, but. Yeah, definitely a fun bike. Yeah, I like bike. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Give us speed for. Guess that's to update it or whatever.
righty, um, we'll, we're about back to the dealership. We'll see what other bike steers. Like I said, when we get there, kind of give you guys a better look at the bike. Definitely a fun bike. So yeah, 850 GS tour. We are taking out a K1600B. So it's in the midnight paint. It's the Grand America. I think Rainy Rider has this. He has something very similar. Hi. Uh, gearing up, getting ready to go. I've never been on this bike. So it's going to be a whole new experience for me. And that is taking out a 850GSA. So. <laughs> help you out there real quick. Just pops out. Yeah. You'll appreciate that. It gives you a little more airflow, I'm guessing. <laughs> Alrighty. Ooh, got a little bit of weight to it. Let's start up. Okay, so I'm not leaving it on as dynamic green and road mode. Uh, I got turn signals, horn, cruise control, high beams. I think that's to unlock your bags. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, never ridden anything like this. Has reverse. <clears throat> Bang, those are far out. Pretty crazy. K1600 Midnight. Got nice little fins there to... Those are like hoverboards. Okay. That's... It's gonna be nice. That's... Oh boy. Away we go. Looks like it's got an adjustable windscreen. I don't know how to mess with that, so probably won't. thing is smooth. Wow. Okay, Rainy, I see why you like this bike Don't for long trips. I can see why you like this bike, dude. Smooth is all I... 
I've always heard these six cylinders are stupid smooth. Pretty. Dang. Like, it is a heavy bike, I will say. I can feel that front weight. But it's smooth as butter, that's for sure. Saving. Yeah, I'm not sure how to mess with that. Yeah, this is very smooth. I, I, I can see why Rainy Rider likes his beam, big old BMW. Wow, this is... <laughs> Would I buy one? I, um, I don't know. I don't know. It's definitely very smooth. I, like I've always been curious about these because you hear about these guys that could just nail miles on back, bikes like these. All I got to say is a wow. Hey, if you look all the way up there, you can see a net. Riding an 850 GSA. It's the third adventure bike she's been able to touch the ground on. First one she's ever ridden, though. So, it'll be interesting to see what her um, experience is with that. Just nail these. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Okay. Road mode was like that? I gotta see how this dynamic mode's gonna end up looking like. This thing sounds wicked. Definitely not as plush as the GS. <laughs> now, I know some of these have different. It's electronically adjusted when she. Ooh. Okay, so I wasn't freak. Okay, so that's all the way down and that's all the way up. Okay. Yeah, I like no one flow there. And yeah, I can definitely you probably hear the wind. <laughs> Which today, this feels great. Oh my. Dude, it's giving me just enough air for my helmet to feel it. Like, I can feel it through my top vent, which feels absolutely great today, considering it's 90 degrees outside, as the bike says. So, yeah. Wow. That, uh, I've always been a fan of adjustable windshields. Like, if Harley would put an adjustable windshield on a road glide, ooh, <laughs> that'd be nice. But um, yeah, this is nice because it's like blocks the wind off my chest and everything still. Still has me in a pretty good pocket. But um, it gives me airflow to my helmet. And the guy in front of me. He's the one that suggested opening up these like little louver vents they got up front here to help direct more airflow towards me. So um, he's like, you'll thank me later. <laughs> so yeah. This is a very nice bike. Like I said, I can see why people ride these. Yeah, that dynamic mode is a fun mode <laughs> to be in on these bikes. But the mirror placement is a little different. The adjustable windshield on this just tops it. 
probably get in the uh, other group a gap so we can um, have a little spirited fun in these curves. <laughs> of course I find neutral. See, I, I see why some people love these BMW six cylinders. I've heard they're like one of the smoothest engines in the world. The inline six. I'm a believer. <laughs> that was awesome. Lean right into these turns. So, um, yeah. Wow. I like bike. It's kind of a nice little spot, but I have a feet. I'm not sure if that's made to be floorboards. <laughs> Definitely works for one, though. So this one here just cruising. Not bad. It's an R18B in front of me. It's one that was riding. That guy, he rides a VFR. <laughs> Honda VFR. And he's like, I've always been kind of interested to get the bag or That's why I got the VFR. So, he's like, I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> yeah, I'm right there with you, bud. Definitely a fun bike. Like I said, if I was just buying a bike to crush some miles, I, I might end, I might become a BMW guy. Just wow! Just the flat six on this thing is insane, and it sounds. I like the way it sounds. It don't. It's like it almost sounds like a sport bike. <laughs> I hate to say that, but I don't know what all those buttons down there are for. They might be presets for like radio or for something, or for all I know. But man, it's a hydraulic clutch, which I didn't even realize it was hydraulic for a second there. It's a pretty smooth hydraulic clutch. Well, I'll have to admit. But yeah, definitely a fun bike. Yeah, those are four boards. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of nice. <laughs> Fun again on bike to just trample miles. Uh, six cylinder BMW might be in my future. Like, but uh, this is just like I love the way the power makes, especially on Harley's. I love low and torque, but 
The horsepower on this thing bro just pulls. So yeah, just insane. Wow, especially in dynamic mode, man. Whew, that is the mode I ride in. <laughs> Just sounds great. Looks, yeah, they're not the best. But, you know what? Who cares if that looks? So you can just cruise down the highway comfortably. So. Yeah, it's just a fun bike. <laughs> that is all I got to say. It's a fun bike. Woo! That wind is definitely, this thing definitely catches the wind. <laughs> Can feel the vent blowing. For the um, heater. Yeah, there's my complaint is you can feel the heat the radiator from blowing the air on your feet and ankles. Unless you got like out. That part does kind of suck. Aside from that though, it's... Oh, that doesn't help. I apparently hit it rough slightly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's... It's a fun bike. <laughs> Cut the center stand. Okay. Wow, that is definitely a fun bike. I will admit. <sighs> yeah. That was fun. I see why Randy likes it. Yeah. Like I said, it looks comfortable. It's comfortable. No vibration. Smoothest thing I've ever ridden. If I was gonna crush Miles, yes. How'd you like that GS? You know, it wasn't bad. I liked it a lot more than I thought I would, but yeah. it did not impress me like that R18B does. Yeah, you know? yeah. I I know you you're getting ready to walk in and trade your bike in for that. Yeah, if, you know, if <laughs> were to decide to go the ADB route, I definitely would consider that one. Okay, cool. Yeah. Especially because you touched the ground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, who want to walk over there so we can tell people you can touch the ground? So I am still recording. Okay. Yeah. This is what Annette was riding. But yeah, so if you're short legged like me, I have a 20 inch inseam. Watch this. Yeah. No problem touching the ground. It's, it's great. Yeah. And it's actually fairly comfortable too. I was oh, yeah. Yeah. Not a bad seating position. Yeah. So. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's. I like it. Yeah. It's not bad. Yeah. Consider it for ADV riding for sure. Right, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. So, we are now getting here. Or trying to get on our way to Moto Guzzi. Sorry to go do that. And it is slightly depressed now. <laughs> but, yeah, so. 
on our way to go check out the Moto Guzzi's. This is a short demo day going on. I might, so we'll see if we actually are able to get on a ride or not. If not, it'll be all right. Go hang out at least for a little bit. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh yeah, I had some fun on the BMWs. Um, she said, I want that R18. Um, I don't know, I doubt my mic's picking it up, but yeah. Her voice. Yeah, once we get out of this traffic, we'll be there in 15 minutes. Nah, not that bad. Only different though, going from the BMWs to the Harleys. <clears> oh, <throat> uh, yeah, we'll definitely uh, see you guys over there once we get over there. We're on the V85 TT. So we are on the V85 TT Travel. And that is on just the regular V85. They did throw the lower seat on for her so she can touch the ground a little easier. Uh, yeah. I have ridden this once before. Did enjoy it. Or, I think it was just the base model I rode, I don't remember. Yeah. This is one of the bikes I am considering buying. So, it does have ride modes. Um, these are a fun little bike, they are. I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera, but it does shake side to side a little bit. I accidentally hit the kill switch. <laughs> I don't remember how to do switch run modes. Oop. See, and I can barely, it's on the balls of her feet. I'm a little bit taller, so I can almost flat foot it. You know what? That's right. The kill switch, that's what it is. Okay. So you got road, rain, off road, road. It, it is a six speed. Um, I'm trying to remember it all. Because I've looked into these before. Because 
Okay, you probably can hear me a little bit better down, but I have looked into this bike before because I, after I rode them, I'm like, okay, I kind of like bike. So, um, yeah. I'm trying it out again. I'm trying the TT version, which has a taller windshield, which I can definitely feel a difference from, from what my memory serves. Yeah. It's a fun little bike. I mean, it's a little more aggressive seating position for somebody my height. I'm like 6'2", six 6'1", six 6'2", six depending on the day measure. Blood tape measure. Uh, yeah, fun little bike. It does. Like I said, this can go off road. I mean, depending on who you talk to, it would depend on you know if they would or not. It's got a shift light. It's got the transverse mounted engine, so you know. It, just shake it like I was saying earlier. That's a Moto Guzzi thing. It will get up and go to highway speeds, all that just fine. Like if you want to take this across the country, you can. the suspension is different on this one compared to the base but it almost feels a little different to me some of the suspension being a hair stiffer I haven't had any good bumps yet so it's hard to tell it does not have a quick shifter So, um, GoPro battery died during that V85. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah, during the V85 demo. Whoop. I apparently knocked him over here. <laughs> oh, yeah. So. For a little day of doing, going out doing demo rides today. Test rode some bikes and had a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. Good old time today. Out riding BMWs and Moto Guzzi's. Moto Guzzi's we weren't quite as impressed with, but I mean, they got a place for them. You know, if that's your thing, that's your thing. So we're headed home now. We got some stuff we need where we're gonna be going to later. So yeah. So end the video off of us headed home and we'll sit you guys or uh, can't talk, wow. <laughs> yeah I know. Ow god, that was loud. You don't have to scream. <laughs> Well, in my ears, it sounded like you scream. <laughs> so, uh, had a fun time today. Almost got in too much trouble. Heard some fun, bi cool bikes. So, yeah. Uh, let's see you guys or end this off by. Wow, I'm doing absolutely horrible with this. <laughs> so uh, yeah, till the next adventure, we'll see you guys later.